Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maldi Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Maldi Worm41975 and today we're going to be doing another GTA Online Movie Cars episode. In the previous episode we looked at all the Fast and Furious cars that are in GTA Online and as I said in the end of that video, today we're going to be having a look at all the Mad Max vehicles that are in GTA Online. Next time we're going to be seeing which Roadkill TV series vehicles we have in GTA Online so if that's something you're interested in then do subscribe to the channel for that and if you go on to enjoy this video or you find it useful then please drop a like and leave a comment if you think there's any vehicles I've missed or that you want to see me review in the future but with that said let's just get straight into the list and start it off at number one so number one has got to be the most famous Mad Max vehicle and we do have this one in GT Online. It's a very close um, replica of the movie car and it is obviously the Mad Max Interceptor, the Ford XB Falcon Interceptor. A very, very cool vehicle I have to say. And we can get this one in GT Online. It is the Apocalypse Imperator. Um, don't use the Future Shock version or the Nightmare version because you can't get it as accurate. You've got to use the Apocalypse version. You can remove the rust or you can keep the rust, depends on the build you're going for. There's a couple of different Mad Max Interceptor builds you can go for. And then you just got to paint it black and secondary chrome. And the rest is all fairly similar. Number two, we have the Bigfoot Monster Truck, and this is a modified Chevy panel wagon uh, that they decided to turn into a monster truck. This thing is absolutely awesome. Doesn't have a lot of screen time, but it is quite a cool vehicle, and we can get this one in GT Online as well. This is obviously the Sasquatch, the Bravado Sasquatch, and for this one, you have to convert the Rat Loader into the arena war version and you get the sasquatch right here and there's not much you have to do with this just paint it chrome and remove the snow plow on the front and that is about it unfortunately we can't get the harpoon on the back but other than that it is pretty movie accurate the next one we have is the bruiser and this is the mercedes 123 the modified mercedes 123 semi truck and unfortunately we can't get the semi trailer for this you can't actually attach a semi trailer to the bruiser in gt online but the sort of truck unit the tractor unit of the semi truck we can get which is as i said the modified mercedes w23 and there's not much you have to do with this one just convert the glendale i think it is into the arena wall version and you get the bruiser and that is good to go the next one we have is the severus and this one's not 100% um, accurate to the movie um, it is a little bit off but I believe that the severus is actually based off the war rig from um, Mad Max Fury Road and as we saw with the bruiser just a second ago we can't actually attach a semi-trailer to this thing. The war rig is obviously a semi-truck. Um, it's a tractor unit with a truck on the back, whereas the Severus is kind of an all-in-one truck. But you can see from the photos I have there, um, it's kind of similar. It's, it appears to be based off the war rig. Um, I'm not really sure what else the Severus would be based off. Um, so if you do know, please let me know in the comment section, but I believe it is actually based off the Mad Max Fury Road War Rig. And the last vehicle you might not actually know is from Mad Max, and I didn't know this either until I did a little bit of digging. And this is actually the 1965 Mini Cooper. It's actually a really cool vehicle. You only see this on screen very briefly for just a couple of seconds. Um, but this is actually one of the Mad Max Fury Road cars and we can get it in GT Online. It's obviously the Apocalypse Issy. So that is a really cool little addition there. It's a little secret one, but it is actually a Mad Max vehicle. 
And that is going to do it for this list though guys. A very short one today, not as lengthy as the Fast and Furious one. Um, but I hope this did help some of you out if you are trying to collect some of the Mad Max vehicles. It would be nice to see some more Mad Max vehicles because some of them are really cool. And I think they really fit in GT Online well. And um, the community does seem to like these as well. Next time, as I said, we will be looking at the Roadkill TV show cars. So if you want to know which Roadkill cars we can get in GT Online, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you did enjoy, and also leave a comment what you want to see me do in a future episode. That is going to do it for today though. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.